My name is Thilo Kerbel. I'm a vascular surgeon from Hamburg University Hospital and I am co-director of this uh, meeting, Aortic Life 2018, which is just happening now in Essen in Germany. Fusion in endovascular surgery is of great importance as it makes the procedures easier but much more because it makes visible what is happening in the operator's mind because all the team is seeing uh, the branches, the target vessels and can understand the, the intended landing zones of our endograph. There's a number of different areas where CT fusion improves endovascular surgery. One area is uh, radiation safety. We have learned that we uh, can uh, reduce the number of uh, DSAs using fusion imaging because we have a constant information about the position of our target vessels and a, f and a few more we were able to decrease the amount of contrast agent. But what is even more important is that CT fusion gives information to the whole team. Usually the operator who has planned the procedure is aware of the position uh, of the target vessels, the landing zones, etc. But with fusion, we can make that information visible for all members of the, of the team. So we create a completely different situation where everybody uh, knows what's happening right now and can, uh, can help the, the operator to achieve this, the goal. I'm just learning about the CIDR system right now. So I got a first impression of using CIDR in the, in the first week. And what impressed me is uh, the ease of use of the system. Um, as uh, the operator, I just need to uh, press a button uh, and I get the, uh, the anatomical marks visible in my OR. Um, and this is maybe more important for other places than my institution where we actually have a dedicated person working on the segmentation uh, with the current system. But I imagine that in hospitals where you do not have such a staff uh, available, um, this makes it much easier for the operator who's usually limited, uh, limited in time. On the other hand, um, the much I understand of the technology is that CIDR registers the fusion very um, frequently uh, through, throughout the procedure uh, by recognizing the structure of the vertebrae. So it's not a manually done registration, but it's a computer res registration. So this is happening continuously throughout the operation. So there doesn't need to be somebody to do that for you. It was very easy to integrate into the workflow because there's no difficulty. We had just have to upload the uh, images at a, uh, at, a, at a time of your preference. And then when you come to the OR, you can select the case and uh, start the procedure. Everybody was uh, quite interested and enthusiastic and uh, what people liked very much was the type of layout that you uh, not uh, get the, the full uh, vessel anatomy uh, but you just get the outline and the target vessels displayed. This is exactly what the surgeon wants to see and I, my, the remarks I got from my colleagues was that that was very positive. I think we have come already quite far with fusion imaging because it is integrated into the, the OR. And hopefully one of the shortcomings of the fusion technology, which is the deformation that is caused by stiff wires and introduction systems, will be taken away by some smart software which will enable us to get the fusion in the way that the vessel really looks when the stiff system is inside.